I'm very excited to be here in Hawaii having the chance to uh, perform the duties of the Deputy Commander for the whole of uh, RIMPAC 2014. I think it's, uh, it's going to be a great challenge, it's going to be very interesting. I'm looking forward to working with representatives of the other countries that are here and ensuring that we all prosper and develop and form new friendships uh, during the exercise. Uh, for me personally, this is my fourth RIMPAC exercise and I think it reflects the great strength of the relationship between Australia and the United States that we are being offered key positions in RIMPAC 2014 and it also reflects very well on the capability of the Australian Defence Force assets that have been invited to participate. Sure, well, first, it is the first time a Royal Australian Air Force Air Component Commander um, has been uh, given the job. It's a real honour and a privilege and quite exciting for me to get that role. Uh, I think it shows a natural evolution of our relationship, our command and control relationship with air operations with the US and our key partners. The AOC comprises US Navy, US Air Force, uh, Royal Australian Air Force, Royal Canadian Air Force and I think it d demonstrates a maturing of that relationship. But personally, uh, it's a quite exciting opportunity. When great nations work together, we can accomplish great things. Collaboration and cooperation. That's why we're here, to learn together, to operate together, and to sail together. There are three great ships that sail on the high seas. Friendship, partnership, and leadership. All three are exemplified here at RIMPAC.